Hi, I'm Tassa Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a lip and cheek tint. Now let me show you how easy it is to put together. Now with my lip and cheek tint, I am going for a balm-like uh, product. This is going to be really nice and emollient. It's gonna be quite conditioning, um, especially because we have to use it on the lips as well. Now it's not going to be very, very heavily pigmented because with a tint you can build up the, the color and the, and the coverage or the, the payoff. So we, we are going to make a little bit of a lighter shade. It won't look like it in the bowl, but when you apply it, it's um, not very dark or pigmented. It's got buildable uh, color. Okay, so to start off with, I have some Marika Fruit Wax by Carl Wax. Now this is a like a soft wax and to this I'm going to be adding some of the Carl Wax Sunflower Wax. So this is more of a hard wax. You do want to have a good combination of both to build stability and also to get a really good balm like texture or viscosity. To this I'm going to be adding some Caprylic Capric Triglycerides and some Coco Caprylate. So something light, something long spreading and also the CCT is uh, medium spreading. Okay, and I'm just gonna pop that one on here and melt all our waxes. So while we're waiting for the waxes to melt, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put my um, titanium dioxide. This is gonna help give it a more of a lighter color. And I'm gonna put in my colorants as well. So I've got the Micro Zest 25 Carat Pink here by Lasonia. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of some iron oxide red. So we're gonna grind these just so they go into the formula a bit better. For small lab samples, you can use a coffee grinder. Okay, so once your waxes are all melted, let's remove that one from the heat. And I'm just gonna add our colorant mix to this now. And I'm also gonna add in um, a lip safe flavor. So this is, um, I think it's vanilla cupcake it's called. Um, you want something that's gonna be lip safe as well if you do wanna add in like a flavor or a fragrance. And I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of tocopherol as well. Okay, so now we need to wait for this to set. If you have some containers already there, you can pour off while it's still molten and it will set in your containers. And then we're gonna come back and assess this the next day. Okay, so here's what our lip and cheek tin is looking like the next day. As you can see, it's set as like a nice, beautiful balm texture. It's not too soft, it's not too hard. It's a nice, beautiful color. And as you can see, it's not heavily pigmented. So this is gonna build a really nice um, color. So the more you add, the more um, pigmented it's going to be. Or it's really good if you're just going for something more natural, just adding a little bit of tint of color to your finished look. Now, remember when making these types of products, you don't wanna use all plant oils because this will tend to make it quite heavy and greasy. You don't want something that's going to be migrating on your face or on your makeup or your lips. Um, so you do wanna make sure that you're using a good balance of some uh, medium and light feeling lipids. And of course, you can add a, a lip safe flavor or a fragrance as well. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to put together a lip and cheek tint balm product. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.